at its Surface event in New York, Microsoft unveiled a whole slew of new Surface devices. There is Surface Buds, there is new funky looking prototypes, Neo and Dual, those are dual screen devices. But what I'm holding here is the Surface Pro X, which is intriguing on its own. First of all, this is one of the thinnest and lightest Surface tablets that I've ever used. It is a 13-inch uh, Surface here, but what else stands out about it? This uses a processor that is customized by Microsoft. It's called the SQ1. And then according to Microsoft's Chief Product Officer, Panos Pane, the chipset has Snapdragon DNA in it. This is an ARM-based processor, which means it's a lot more mobile-like than, say, an Intel x86. This means it can support LTE out of the box. This is by no means Microsoft's first attempt at Windows on ARM. We've seen the disaster that was Windows RT way back in the 2012-2013 period. Um, but, you know, Microsoft and Qualcomm have been giving it another go with the Windows and Snapdragon platform that they announced a couple years ago. And this seems to be Microsoft's first effort or indication that Microsoft wants to take back ownership of this whole movement. From my hands on here, the uh, Surface Pro X was actually pretty smooth and fast. Apps launched quickly. It didn't feel like there was an emulator in the way compared to my previous experience with Windows on Snapdragon devices. Um, but there's a lot more to like about the Pro X. Now, in addition to its design, which is frankly super attractive, there's also a new signature keyboard cover here that comes with a new Surface Pen that is slimmer than before. It's got a charging cradle for the stylus, as well as the same Alcantara fabric cover that we've come to appreciate from before. The keys themselves are comfortable. Trackpad was responsive. Again, I haven't had that much time with this device. Overall, though, I already really like the screen. I am still slightly concerned about Windows on ARM, um, but SQ1 chip is optimized to get three times more performance per watt than the Surface Pro 6, which might mean to longer battery life. This is available for pre-order today at $9.99, which is more expensive than the other Snapdragon PCs we've seen, but it might be better, honestly, if Microsoft's chipset minimizes the delays we've seen in other ARM-based PCs so far. Uh, we don't know just yet, and really, I'd caution you to wait till we get a unit in for review before spending your money on one. This will be available on November 5th, so that leaves us with plenty of time before you actually have to do your holiday shopping anyway. So hey, stay tuned to Engadget for that and all of the news out of Microsoft's event here in New York.